You're going to be a person who's in distress. And what we're going to do in this moment, you're in distress and you're... <laughs> I, I, I want to go home. 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 And you're going to be coming right up to me. And why would she come right up to me? Because she thinks I'm going to be able to be the one to help her. Okay. And what I'm going to do is show you how I take this and use this to help her. Okay. So I'm doing something else and, and Jess is coming. And I don't know that. <laughs> Hey, hey, Jess, you need me, you need yes, me, you need yes, me now. Need something's that. wrong, something's yes, wrong. Yes, people, yeah, that's yes. good. <sighs> yeah, something's yes, really wrong. Yes, something's something's wrong. not good. Something's not Ooh, good. Ooh, really not good. Not good. You're angry? Yes. Oh, you're angry. Come on, let's get you out of angry. <laughs> okay. Whoops. I wouldn't be able to do that. I'd have to just listen to that in the background, okay. but that would drive us both crazy. <laughs> Because I couldn't say, oh, come on over here. I've got something to do and going to happen. Okay. Now, what I'm doing, I'm going to copy her at first. But what I want to emphasize, do this, is the breathing out. Try that with your partner. You want to blow out. Because what you're trying to do is get their rib cage relaxed a little bit. So oxygen is moving in and out. With your partner. How it starts, you offer, you get the hand, hand under hand. There you go. Now, what you can do is lay your other hand on top there. Lay it on top, fatty side down, palm down. And what you're going to do is pump the hand with a rhythm. Pump, pump and release. And it's, it's a slight squeeze and release with your back of your hand. Now, if people have arthritis in your thumbs, Make sure that it's more of a pump from the top and not a pump into the base of the thumb because that might feel uncomfortable. You want to read their reaction to your pump. You're not pumping with your other fingers. Nope. The other ones, these guys, it's, it's this. It's a palm pump. And it really is, these fingers are, it's like a heartbeat. Yeah. Yeah, and this one is just for comfort. That's okay. That, that is the finger. It's comfort, but it also does something else. Lay your forearm along their forearm when you do it. You want to be on their dominant on the side that you're on. Dominant side is most comfortable for people with dementia. All of us actually, all of us like the people on their side, usually the side. Usually the side they write right with is a good start. And you'll read their behavior as to whether or not you, yesterday we did a little, I'm going to show you again with Jessica. Watch Jessica on this side. She is, she does not like me as well on this side. Her discomfort is higher on this side. How do I know that? Tell me some ways that I'm picking up on it. Yeah, her visual regard, she's watching me, but she doesn't like me over here. Her body has shifted away from me. Yeah, she's, she's not relaxing her arm with me. She doesn't really care for this. She'll tolerate it, but it's not comforting. As I'm learning the skill, because if I'm right dominant, guess which side I'm going to gravitate to because I feel more comfortable with her on my right side. The wrong side for her. So if you're both right-handed, what happens is you like to get on their left side because it makes you comfortable. And as you're learning your skills, you aren't paying as much attention to them, but they don't like you on that side. They will want you on the side they like. And you can, as soon as I did it, look at her body. She totally relaxed. Now, what, who will have to work more at relaxing? You, but you're the one with the big brain, so we're giving you credits.